Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices. This is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, April 25th, 2022. If you like support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And let's get to it. So this was a horrible day for the Nasdaq. We're roughly down 3%. And I think it's fair to say now that uh, this head and shoulders pattern that we were expecting is kind of gone out of the window because we should have expected it should have seen that but we just broke down and at this current stage it's more likely that we'll have a retest of this low here which is roughly around the 13 13k so that is probably what we are going to see, to see. but this market is uh, fairly overdone at this point if we look we are way past the bottom of the bullet Japan and uh, we are approaching oversold conditions and therefore in the beginning of Monday session we may see this market bounce a bit uh, towards the previous lows here roughly 13.5 13.6k uh, uh, before continuing going down so there's a lot of negativity and um, Mark is just realizing now that we are most likely going to break below this area here head towards another low and therefore we will see something similar to this where we have a we have a lower channel that is just continuing breaking down and we have an upper channel here so when we hit the bottom of this channel we most likely will see this continue going up and down and this is technically a bear market we broke out of this range um, in January and we have not managed to get back into this channel and if we break below here there is gonna be a long 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 time, time in, in before we ever see these levels again we're talking about uh, probably two years before we'll see these levels again or even more than that if we look at the MACD we can see that it is still uh, bearish we can see the stochastic is also bearish and so is the RSI and it's approaching oversold conditions so breaking uh, towards the level here we will most likely see a bounce a significantly bounce then but if we rally and then go down then we may basically break through uh, this uh, support level and head to significantly lower so let's look at the uh, S&P 500 very similar here even we're also down more than three percent in the s p 500 and we are significantly outside of the bullinger band we are if you look at technical leaders macd is bearish the casting is bearish and the rsi is down at 36 and it's basically fairly close to being oversold but this market has broken down first of all yesterday roughly uh, two and a half percent today and uh, more than three percent and that is just within two days if you look for example at the four hour chart we can see how far below the bullish band we are and usually this means that we will see a rally out towards a previous support which is roughly 3600 3, sorry 4367 before continuing lower we also have a crossing here of the 50 and the 200 moving average basically a dead cross and that's usually a very negative sign um, if you look at the rsi in the four hour chart you can see down we are at the 24 and therefore we are significantly oversold and this will uh, rally at some point on monday or tuesday uh, because it can't go this um basically break down this aggressively without having a bounce and going continuing further down so we are most likely going to see something similar to the nasdaq we are going to see a lower low so we have one here one here and we'll most likely break through this line and head even lower down to roughly four thousand, and then creating another low so we'll have a lower resistant level and here we'll most likely have a channel that's something similar to this so we'll bounce from here and continuing even lower as this head and shoulder pattern at this point it's kind of dead in the water that's probably not going to happen at all so let's look at the dow jones even the dow jones, dow jones broke down from 30 uh, 35.5k all the way down to 33.7k that's a absolutely 
enormous decline for the Dow Jones. And also here, head and shoulder patterns, that's kind of out the window. We will mostly have a rally up towards the 50 moving average up here at the 30, uh, 34.2K before continuing lower. Stochastic is bearish, MACD is bearish, Stochastic is bearish, and so is RSI. And there's a lot of room to the downside in, our, in, the, uh, in the Dow Jones. And therefore, we may see this drop all the way down to the very bottom of 32.4K. So let's look at the DAX. And also the DAX is now struggling so we did test this area above the 50 moving average twice we did rally and then broke down broke down and this is a fairly bearish candlestick as this was also a very bearish candlestick and saw how much this did climb so we will most likely break below 13.8k uh, and after that they, this is just gonna fall off a cliff all the way down towards 12.4 uh, and probably even lower than that. European economy is much worse off than the US economy. And if the US starts selling off, that will, of course, have, course have ripple effects, effects over the entire uh, world financial system and also, also uh, be uh, felt here in Europe. So at this current stage, it will probably take um, uh, quite a long time but it doesn't seem like it, there is enough uh, uh, positive or bullishness in order to break above the 50 moving average and head towards the 200 moving average and therefore this way it may during time drop back towards the 12.4k breaking below that then we have another uh, support line here at the 11.4 and if that breaks, we are dropping back towards the very lows of the coronavirus, which is down here at 8.2K. So that is really long term um, and uh, probably not something that we're going to see this year, maybe next year uh, when the world will most likely run, in, run into uh, a global recession. Um, it's going to be mostly impossible getting rid of the inflation that we have at this current stage uh, by um, uh, without triggering a recession. Therefore, the outlook for the world economy is quite bad. If you look at the MACD, it's still is about to be across the signal line becoming bearish. Stochastic is bearish and so is the RSI. And there's a lot, a lot of room to the downside in the RSI. So this could definitely tumble within just two or three trading days. If you look at the VIX, it is up 9.25%, uh, and we did break above this range, which we were in for quite some time. At this point, it is fairly overdone. It's significantly outside of the bullish band, and therefore it needs to pull back before it continues higher. So we may see uh, the VIX pull back, and of course that would uh, make sense because these uh, indices are also significantly oversold and they need a kind of need a, a minor rally before going lower. It's almost impossible for this just to continue outside of the bullish band. You can see what basically happens here when it gets this far outside, it just snaps back towards the very bottom. So I also pointed out yesterday that it looks like the VIX is building up for more volatility as we are continuing this pattern like building up for more volatility so we may see this continue even further towards uh, 40 or even or even 50 in the long term so so that's kind of what it looks like if we break below uh, these levels of 20, 20, 20 then we, then we most likely go back to eight but but um, I don't really see that happening anytime soon. If you look at the MACD, it's very bullish. Stochastic is bullish, and so is the RSI. So look at the 10-year. 10-year is also significantly overbought and needs to pull back, as I pointed out yesterday. So we may pull back towards the 20 simple moving average right here, which had support down here. If that breaks, then we have the 50 moving average moving in this direction, and that will be something similar to this down to 2.5 and then we have the 200 moving average which most likely will move in this direction and that it will be 
quite a breakdown if we drop down to the 200 moving average. 50 moving average is most likely where we'll go before going higher. MACD has crossed the signal line, becoming bearish. Stochastic is also bearish, and so and the RSI is significantly overbought at this point. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and good luck again. Thank you very much.